Hello everybody, this is Garon Guy, uh, bringing you another awesome video of Garon Guy in Super Mega Awesome World. Uh, today we are going to be unveiling to you what Garon Guy has been building on his uh, Super Mega Awesome World edition of Minecraft on the Xbox 360 console. Yay! Uh, so I've been actually building this while Mizzy Goodchild has been building everything else in the city or the land of Minecraft in this world and it's taken me almost about a week to do this so I really hope you enjoy what you're about to watch. Uh, again before we go any further if you are enjoying what you're watching make sure to drop us a like on our, f on our Facebook page, Twitter page or YouTube page uh, which you're on at the moment and also subscribe subscribe to our channel as well and we'll keep bringing you awesome videos in the future and I can't stop waving my hand here way anyway um, as we said in our little sneak peek uh, this was called the Xeon weapon the large tower behind us isn't actually anything it's just a tower of stone um, and the large shadow is what I've actually been building Woo! 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 So without further ado, we are going to take you up to our weapon of mass destruction. I hope you enjoy what you're about to see. This has taken me a week to build. Yippee! Let's see. Oh, oh, look at that. Does it even hit anything on the way up? Way. As you can see, this... This is what we call the Xeon. And the only reason I'm calling it the Xeon is because it's the only thing I could actually think of at the time. It's my own battleship that I've actually built and designed and unlike some of the Minecraft ships, it's not actually just a shell. There's rooms in here, there's a bridge that you can see in the background, there's gun turrets, there's everything. And we're going to take you for a whole look around. I really hope you enjoy everything you see here. This is the first build I have made on this game. Um, besides my supersonic death ray, but this is the first major build. I've had my copy of Minecraft in my hand for a approximately about four weeks, five weeks maybe. I got on the same day I got Watch Dogs on the launch day. So is that, is that about four weeks maybe? Regardless, I've never played it before, and after I build uh, the death, after I build the death ray, I thought, hey, why not? Let's try and build an airship, and uh, yeah, there we have it. So I'm gonna take you for a quick look around, which I'll show you everything. If you want any sort of uh, any sort of tips on what I did to build it, then do drop us a comment in the comments box below. I hope you all do enjoy watching it round. Um, so let's get to it. We so first of all we'll get a quick scan around the ship itself. So at the front of the ship we have the launch bay door that's opened at the bottom. We have the pulse cannon at the front. At the sides of the the, the ship front we have a what do we call that? What do we call that thing there? Uh, uh, cannons! Hey, we'll just say the cannons. I've forgotten the actual name of what I gave them. But yeah, we have two laser cannons sticking out each side. Uh, the green parts are meant to be doors that open up for the cannons to sort of uh, launch out the side so they can uh, attack oncoming uh, ships. The, uh, the bridge is there itself at the top of the ship. As you can see, way the long neck of the ship itself has hallways to different areas of the ship itself. We have two major ion cannons, as we'll say, for the for the moment on the sides of the ship. We have two missiles on each side of the wings itself. In the, the actual main bulk of the ship, we have compartments. We have a mess hall, a medical lab, a library, captain's quarters, first mate's quarters, a launch bay at the bottom of the ship. We also have two huge thrusters at the back of the ship as well, which are done with Minecraft lava blocks, which were awesome indeed when we were doing them. I needed to test the actual bricks out, and that's how we ended up with the Tower of Babel there, when a big lava 
Corn decided to appear off the side of one of the prototype wings and we had to cool it down with a bit of water. So that's just a now big landmass. So that's about it. So I'll just take you down and show you what I mean. So at the sides of each part of the ship you'll see there's windows all throughout it. You can see other rooms all in there. We'll take you for a look around all those rooms. It's absolutely a work of art, or I love it anyway. You can see all the all the corridors. We even got the separate gun turret on top of the ship there, so uh, the actual weapons area of the ships all ready for battle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you for a quick look inside it now, and uh, we'll show you what's all all like inside. So this is the launch bay of the ship. So. Let's see if we can just speed in here. Way so the fighter jets and all that will come out of here. And this is the hangar bay. Hey, look, there's a couple of crew members there. We've got Mr. Zombie and Brian the Creeper, always on hand. We have some uh, computer systems around here. The lights are off at the moment. And we we are going to be building a little fighter jet in here to come out. We uh, we didn't build it as of yet because we need to get the sizing right. So with it being the fighter bay, we've got uh, the mechanic spider guy there. He's uh, with his toolbox at the moment. Hello, get back to work. Oh my god, I've just obliterated part of my ship. Oh my god, I'm just going to have to build that back. Uh, we'll do that in just a moment. I'll just take you around the rest of the ship. Bad spider, bad spider. So this is the, the launch bay, we have all the tools needed, all the comm systems needed, looks very much like a workman's station. Upstairs, here we go. So upstairs, the first room we come to is... Aha, this is it, this is the uniform room for the ship. So all the crew members will have all their uniforms here. Let's just get a bit of a better view. So we have all the protective armour, gear, all the lockers. And for this I did use just little picture frames and put the outfits in it. So this is where all the space outfits go, the security armour goes. So that's for all the crew members. Let's walk and talk, walk and talk. So, you see we've got hallways that way and that way. So we'll take a quick wander around this way. So this is the mess hall, so we have all the seats, tables, everything a me ship mess hall would have, and the kitchen. I absolutely love the kitchen, it looks amazing. If you're thinking about what skin pack we used to actually record this with, it was the city skin pack on the Xbox 360 console version of Minecraft, it's absolutely awesome. That bed shouldn't be there, that bed was there when I was building the ship, so my apologies there. So let's we'll close that. Keep going around, structure of the ship. We'll do one floor at a time. So for the rest of the this section of the ship we have the, ma the main quarters for each of the crew members. So we have this one, very nice. We have this one, all decorated similar to each other. What's this one? Oh, this is the cinema room for the crew members to relax in. See, it's got this big, big TV. All the nice little lights, all the, all the chairs to relax. Drinks machines up here, some ovens so they can make their nachos and whatever to watch films with. It's awesome! So walk and talk, walk and talk. We have some more quarters around here. So each quarters have its own little TV sections. Some storage, oven, bed, somewhere here, TVs, bed, oven, storage. Same again. Some are small, some are bigger, depending on what rank they are. TVs again, oven, storage. So like most modern day apartments, they all come as standard and then the crew members can just put in whatever the hell they like. Oh, it's getting nighttime outside. 
again, TVs, bed, storage, yeah, 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 the, the usual thing. So, as I say, on this floor we've got the quarters, we've got the mess hall, we've got the cinema room, the uniform room for them all to kit out, and we have the hallways to the front of the ship. Now there's two hallways, they do go to the same place, so we'll just uh, rush along them. In this area, this is the cannon room, so the cannons are here that do aim out, so we've got these huge cannons here. We've got the joysticks that they used to fire at other ships, the little TV box there, so we can target people. Uh, we've got another one on there as well. So, exactly the same as each other. Now, there was going to be one here, but we thought it'd be too much, especially with it being just over the actual uh, launch bay itself. Oh, another bed. Obviously, it was there while I was building the ship. doesn't need to be there now. So, uh, walk and talk. We'll come down the opposite hallway. Settees are there. There will be settees on both sides. Um, eventually. So I'm be uploading this video to YouTube but the, uh, the finished product is virtually com it's virtually completed product now. Uh, just a few or uh, accessories to add in. So the next floor up, first room we come to we've got the uh, handyman's room. So anything that needs doing on the ship the handyman's or quarters are here. Got all his work tools, these other work tools, something there to put tools in. Some books on tools, you know, the usual malarkey. And then we've got the medical bay, all the doctors. So we've got the sign in book here, the reception area, we've got all the beds for all the, doc for all the uh, sick patients on the ship to go to, and then we've got the doctor's changing rooms here. It's all very, uh, all very sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? Very, uh, well, it's very steel, we'll say that. And we've got the library here, it's a bit dull, but it's a library for all the crew members to come and brush up on their, uh, their knowledge. Walk and talk. In here we have the sauna room. Again, we've got the little hot tubs there, we've got all the saunas, seats around here. It's very nice. Down here we've got the uh, hydroponics room with all the uh, greenery that we're growing. Seems that we're going to out space, we're going to need some greeneries to take with us to grow so we don't all starve. We've got the storage room for all the crew's accessories so when we come on board we can put them all in storage and we know where everything is. Yeah, another hallway, we'll come back to that in just a minute. There is another section to go upstairs, but we'll go up there in a minute. This is the main engine room of the ship. So this controls everything. We've got computers there, we've got some things there. We've got the big engine furnaces there, we've got the coolant systems on the sides of the room, we've got the main engine computer system there with some joysticks, some other computer systems there with other joysticks and some there. Lots and lots of things going on in that room. It's absolutely awesome. Look at it, it's awesome! You can even hear it! Oh, oh it's like a soft purring sound, I love it. So, keep going along. If you notice, there is a blue and white carpet theme throughout the entire of the ship itself. So this is the top hallway of the neck of the ship. Keep going along that. It's raining outside, look at that. So you can see, anyone who's walking along can see outside. Now, so the weapons bay itself, this is the control tower for the weapons bay, so the commanding officers would all stand here while guns are blazing, fire ships are coming out, yay! Uh, and using these computer systems to make sure the ship is fine. Up here we've got the ion cannon at the front of the ship's computer system. So these are the, uh, the joysticks, this is the screen that everything would appear on. At the back we can see the bridge all the way along there. 
So, that's everything on this for Sorted. I hope you're still enjoying it and you're still with us. Again, if you are enjoying this video, please do drop us a, uh, a like or subscribe to our page. We are going to be carrying on in this world doing epic builds like this. So, let's go and see what else we can find. The whole of the ship has been kitted out with everything. There's no part of the ship that's been uh, left unbuilt. This is uh, my pride and joy on Minecraft. It has taken me a long time. We are in the process of both myself and Mizzy Goodchild of building something even bigger than this at the moment, but that'll be for a future video, and we hope you'll all be still around at that point. So up here, this is where the uh, the main bridge section of the ship is. So this is the commander's quarters or the first mate. So again, he's got a bit of a better quarters here. He's got his own sort of kitchen area. He does doesn't have to go to a mess hall, he's got his own big super duper TV and nice settee, his own big double bed, his own laundry and changing area, and it's, a, it's a big corner room so it's a, it's a lot nicer, very industrial, that's the word I was looking for earlier, industrial. And we have the bridge up there, and here this is the captain's quarters, so it's the biggest room on the ship. He has his own big kitchen area of white and black tiled floors, lots of microwaves and ovens. His big carpeted room area with all his books and huge duper duper TV. He's got his own safe there. He's got the best room in the ship, you can see everything from up here. So his fish tanks and he's even got an upstairs section as well the only room that does so up here he's got his fridges or his books more books units maybe he's got a lot of artwork his own wine cabinet again he's got his own laundry room like the first mate and and whatnot and he's got his bedroom area as well and he's even got his own skylight so, I really hope you're enjoying all of this so far and that uh, you're still with us. Uh, again, if you want any tips on how I did any of this, please drop us a comment in the comments box below and I'll let you know exactly what I use, what bricks I use and how I achieved this design. So finally, uh, this is the last room in the ship. This is the bridge area. Okay, so again, very industrial. We've got a lot of TVs, your air vents. Tom's rooms, just need a few, fit a few seats along here, that should be fine, but again it overlooks the entire ship itself, it does not overlook the front section but it doesn't need to itself, so this is where all the officers would go on the bridge and the captain would stand up here with his joysticks looking over, hey is that skeleton dude down there, yes it is! So yeah, the captain would stand here, control the ship from the helm, and uh, we'd go into battle. And you can actually see the two big ion cannons at both sides of the ship, and how far we are up, uh, almost to orbit. We are at the very top of the map of Minecraft at the moment. So this is actually as far up in the sky as you can get. So, uh, we'll just show you now. Going back down to the launch bay. Now you may be wondering why am I not just built a lift down to the launch bay? Well, you can't really sort of build any lifts as such on Minecraft, which go up about four floors. And you know, nothing's perfect to start with. So if you imagine now, a little fighter jet here, ready to go. We are gonna put a fighter jet here by the way. And do D minus five, four, three. Two, one, go! Woo! Yo! And that's what it'd be like when it fires out a fighter jet. So, if it wasn't actually, if it was in orbit flying, that part would actually be closed. But for the purpose of this, we've left it open. So there we go, the majestic Xeon battle cruiser as we call it, or the Xeon. I hope you really enjoyed this uh, video of our epic build. Uh, we've enjoyed building it 
as much as we hope you enjoy watching this video. Again, if you like any of this, or you want any tips on how we achieve this awesome build, drop us a comment in the comments box below. The sheer size of it deserves, <laughs> deserves at least one thumbs up. It has taken us all our time uh, this week to build this, as well as uh, a couple of other little bits and pieces. But thanks again for watching, we couldn't have done it without uh, the help of my partner putting up with me this week, uh, having to build it uh, while she's been doing other things as well. And uh, again, thanks for tuning in to our channel and supporting us. You, the viewer, you are helping us grow and we will continue to bring more Minecraft videos uh, in the future, as well as our normal game walkthroughs and reviews. So thanks again from Galron Guy. We hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks again for watching and please tune in again. Take care. Bye.